Okay, for those of you on the forum, you will know what this video is about. And for others, well, you'll just have to wait and see. What I have here is just a small coil with two LEDs on it hooked up opposite to each other. So the cathode on one of the LEDs is on this side and the cathode of the other LED is on this side. So um, <clears throat> this is just to demonstrate that you do not need a north and a south alternating magnetic field to get alternating current. Um, you can get it just from one field. Most of you will know this, some of you will not. Um, it's been many, said many times that you need a north and then a south and then a north to get an alternating current and that's not the case. Um, if, if you have a south field approaching the coil the current will flow in one direction, as it's leaving the coil it will flow in the other direction. So um, what I have here is just some laminated plates that I've welded together. Um, I've just pulled apart an old burnt out transformer and got these little e-cores out of it. And between each e-core is a little flat piece like that. So what we're going to do here, have a magnet I'll we'll stick the north side down onto the laminated plate and I hope I'll get this in the shot and you'll see the yellow light come on when the north field is introduced into the coil and the green one will come on when the north field is removed from the coil so that is our alternating current from the same pole of the magnet now this is the thing I want to show the guys on the forum um, how would we get that field to rock backwards and forwards inside that coil without having to move the magnet well the way you do that is you get a, another magnet <coughs> and you make sure it's opposing the top so that will be to north or south fields there and of course our north is on the bottom and so what we're going to do now is put a south field at this end of the core and as you'll see the magnetic field disappears from the coil so what happens there is as it is at the moment the field is coming out and going into the coil when we put the opposite polarity on this end the field changes and goes in this direction and the field disappears from here so that is what we're going to be using for our setup so like I said, this was just a little show and tell for the guys on the forum. Plenty of people out there would already know this stuff. Some may not, and some may be able to figure out exactly where I'm going with this. So, um, next video, we will be making, of course, our coil. I'm going to use this L-shaped laminated piece that I've made up. <coughs> the coil will be on here of course this magnet will be fixed there <coughs> and the rest of the machine is still to come so um, until then it's uh, cheers from the tin man <laughs>